Okay, so part two of the project says record all the instruments in band lab as explained in class. Okay, this is the part that I know is also a little bit confusing for some of you. Let me show you what this is about. So you should have already created a profile in band lab, so you should be able to see something like this. Okay, you should be in bandlab.com and you should have your own profile. Okay. What you're going to do is the following. It's actually not that hard. It's really simple. Okay? You're going to click here on create. Okay? And this red box that it has uh, here in the top right that it says create. You're going to click there. <coughs> and it's going to take you here. This is the recording software, the music recording software that you have embedded in BandLab. So from here, you're just going to select instrument. And it's going to open this. Okay. Now, let me show you some of the resources that you have available here. Some of the tools that you're going to be using are the following. Okay. You have here this piano. Okay. That works pretty similar. Works pretty similar to the virtual piano that we were using before. Okay. Um, with this piano, you're going to play everything that you're going to record. Okay, you can see here the letters that correspond to the keyboard in your computer. If you type on the C, it plays this. If you type on the X, it plays the C and the D, D, N, M, and so forth and so on. You're only going to use the white keys. You're not going to use the black keys. You don't need those. You're going to use only the white keys. So it's only this row that you're going to be using in your computer keyboard. Now, one of the tools that is going to be very handy for you is the following, this one that says fit. I know that there is an important number of you that are not familiar with the keyboard, I mean with the piano keyboard, that you are not familiar where the notes are located. So this takes me here to this next tool that you have here that, is, that says fit. When you click on this part that says pitch here, you see it changes and now it tells you the actual note names, okay? Remember the note names from here, the ones that we're adding in this part? E, E, F, G, G, F, E, D, Q, Q, G, E, E, G, for example. That's the same that you can see here, C, D, E, F, G, A, D, and so forth and so on. This is so you know, and you can relate them. For example, if you take a look at both of them and you compare them, you can tell, well, C is right here on the key of D in my, uh, in my computer keyboard, okay? The letter X corresponds to the note D. The letter C corresponds to the note E. The letter V corresponds to the note F. The letter B corresponds to the note G. And so that way you know exactly in what part of your computer keyboard to play any of these notes that you're going to see here. Okay? So that is one thing. Okay? The next thing is the following. You're going to have to create a new track to record all of the instruments that you see here in your music sheet. You have to create a new instrument track for the flute, for the oboe, for the clarinet, for the French horn, the trumpet, the violin one, the violin two, the viola, the cello, and the double bass. And you're going to record the entire line of music that you see here for each of the instruments, okay? In this case, you already started with one. So all you need to do is to change the kind of instrument. If you go here, you see you have two drop-down menus that you're going to use. On the first one, you select the family of instrument that you need. Okay. In this case, since we start with the flute, the oboe, the clarinet, these ones over here are woodwinds. So you're going to start here with the woodwinds, which you have here at the bottom. You select winds, and then here by default you have the flute. But if you click here in this drop down menu, you see they have alto saxophone, clarinet, flute, oboe, and tenor saxophone. Okay, so you select the one that you need and 
You see, now it sounds like the instrument that you select. So, how are you going to record this? Okay, pay attention. You need to also use the following tool, which is the metronome. The metronome is this little box that you see over here. Okay, it's like a square with a lever on it. Okay, when you click on it, it's going to enable it. Okay, when you scroll over, it says enable or disable. Once that it is highlighted in green, it is enabled. This is a tool that will keep the beats for you. Remember that you have to play depending on the beats, okay? And here, this number that you see here that is accompanied by these three letters, BPM, which stands for uh, beats per minute, okay? This is the speed at which that metronome is going to go. You can set it faster if you scroll over the BPM mark, you click and drag up and it makes it a higher number, which is faster, or you can scroll down, which makes it a lower number, which is slower, okay? So, for example, here at 100 BPMs, this is the speed at which you have it. Listen. You see, you listen to four clicks over there, one in a high uh, pitch and three other in a lower pitch. The higher one in the higher pitch, that is one, and the others are two, three, four. Listen. One, one two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And again, you can make it faster, okay? If I drag it up, it goes faster. Or you can make it slower. You can drag it and make it slower like this. You have to set it up at a speed that is comfortable for you to play. Okay, a speed that is comfortable for you to play. And what you need to do is to play each of the notes depending on the beats that you have. Those of you who were with me last year, you may remember that quarter notes, you play one in each beat. So for each click that you receive in the metronome, you have to play each of these notes. You play in each click, you play the E, the repetition of the E, the F, the G, the G, F, E, G, C, C, D, E. And when you get here, these are half notes. So here you play one note for every two clicks. So you play here the E, when you hear one click, skip one click, and then on the next one, you play the D on the next click and then skip another click before continuing with the rest. Some of the instruments, like for example, the French horn, you have all half notes. So these are two clicks, these are two clicks, these are two clicks, these are two clicks, just like that, okay? So for example, let's say recording the flute, that you have this part over here. I'm going to record all of these first four bars that you have over here, okay? This is what it will sound like. This is how you will record it. When you click here, okay, on this red button, it starts recording. Okay, it says start recording. It will always count one, two, three, four as an introduction before you actually record, before you can actually start playing and recording. So you have to wait that it goes one, two, three, four, and then start playing. Okay, like this. Look. Two. Three, four. You see that? Okay, let's say that you made a mistake and you don't like how it sounds. You can just select it. Okay, just select this little square with the notes in it and you just delete it backspace you see and it deletes okay now one thing that i forgot to mention that is very important every time before recording you have to click here okay go to beginning so it starts recording from the beginning from number one you have to be careful with that so you don't start recording at a different part okay always start recording all of your instruments in number one so one more time let's record the flute goes two three four
Okay, did you notice that all of the notes that I played at first, all of these, I played one in every click. And then the last two, I waited one click before playing the next one. And then you have to wait another click before you start playing one more time. Because that is how it goes with uh, quarter notes and half notes. Okay? Now, the other thing that you need to do is start adding all of the other instruments. Let's say that you're done with the flute, okay? You can close here and you can always open again like in the video where it says instrument there on the lower left corner. You can always open and close this view, okay? If you go here where it says add track, you click there and it takes you here one more time so you can add another instrument, okay? And in this case, I open again this dialog here and I can change it one more time. Let's say this woodwinds and let's see the next one is the oboe so let's record now the oboe i go here and select oboe here in the second drop down menu and now you see it changes the sound if you go here and you already know what are the notes that you have to play if you have done your job before then you will know that here you have again the same notes that you have in the flute so it's e e f g G, F, E, D, C, C, D, E, E, D. Okay, and you record it one more time. Then you select, okay, when I close here, you select, which is the instrument where you want to start recording. You open your instrument and you click here to go to the beginning and you start recording. Here it goes. Two, three, four. There you go when you close it there you have it okay now let's say that you already finished your flute you already finished your oboe the next instrument that you have is the clarinet okay let's see the notes of the clarinet in this case are different you can look that in this case this is not the same note as this okay so you have a different set of notes in this case it's c c d e e d c d c c D, E, E, D. Okay, so let's say that you already know what are the notes that you have to play. You go one more time here. Again, you go where it says add track on this little square over here, on this little rectangle, this plus sign. You click on it. You select instrument. Okay, you select this instrument and open the dialog so you can change it. One more time, you go here to Woodwinds in the first drop down menu. In the second drop down menu, now you select the clarinet, which is the next instrument that we're going to record. Here, you click on go to beginning and then on record, and you start recording. Two, three, and. you go you stop it and you close here there you go now you have also your clarinet anytime you can listen to the all of the instruments playing together just by going to the beginning and clicking on play and this is how it sounds And if you want, you can also remove the sound of the metronome by disabling it, and you can listen to it without the metronome. And there you go. You have to repeat the process with all of the instruments that you see here with all the line of music complete up till here, until the end. I just recorded right now half of it. You have to do the entire complete thing until here for all of the instruments. Flute, oboe, clarinet, 
پنج هون ترامپت وایولین وان وایولین تو بیولا چلو ام دوبل بیت اوکی ای هوب دات اکسپلینز هاو تو دو پارت نمبر تو